time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the 91 plus kilo division for the super heavyweight division. In the red corner from Kitchener, Ontario, Lennox Lowey. And in the blue corner from Cuba, George Gonzalez. This is the one you've been waiting for, Dale Walters. I think you said this would be the fight of the night. I think this is the one everybody's been waiting for. Another Pan Am Games rematch. Lennox felt that he won the fight down in Indianapolis. He's going to go out there and get some revenge tonight, he says. The decision in Indianapolis, 4-1, a split decision. Lennox Lewis did not get the gold. It went to Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Lewis won the silver. And the Kitchener, Ontario native wants a shot at the world championship. More importantly, a little revenge from Jorge Gonzalez here tonight. Gonzalez in the blue trunks, Lewis in the Canadian red and white. Lennox is coming out aggressive, which uh, isn't really his style. He likes to, to move and set up his opponent, try and catch him when he comes in. But I know he wants his Cuban bad, and he wants to go out there and prove that he should have won down in Indianapolis. Lewis, a roundhouse body blow that really didn't seem to affect Gonzalez. Canadian Amateur Boxing Association is, expect, is expecting big things out of Lennox Lewis. They're hoping that uh, he's going to bring home the gold medal in the 88 Olympics. Well, a North American championship would be a nice step along the road to gaining some pretty good experience. Winner moving on to the Worlds. The super heavies are in the ring. He's a former junior world champion, so you know he's capable of, uh, of coming out on top even when he faces the best fighters in the world. It's just a question of whether he's going to be mature enough by the time the Olympics roll around. Jorge Luis Gonzalez against Lennox Lewis of Canada. The Cubans have owned the night so far. One notable exception, Dan Sherry. Sure, Danny would love to have some company traveling to the World, world Cup with him. Lennox Lewis looking for revenge. A right hand that almost counted big. He's landing that way hand. He's kind of like, he's looping it a bit though. He should try and shorten it up. That's better. That was sharper. Moving nice. You see nice lateral movement. Makes it difficult for the Cuban to catch Lennox. This is what Lennox told me he wasn't going to let the Cuban do to him. He said all he did down in Indianapolis was tie him up, tie him up. Every time he scored, he would tie him up. He said he was looking for a faster and stronger start in the first round. I think he likely has started faster than he did in Indianapolis. Most definitely. This is, a, this is, a, uh, is an aggressive Lennox Lewis that we're seeing here tonight. Let's just hope he doesn't throw himself out there because these Cubans are uh, in incredible condition. They're still going after the bell. That's round one. The OB North American Amateur Boxing Championship back with round two of the Super Heavyweights after this. The Super Heavyweights are in the ring. A, a, a Pan American Games rematch between Lennox Lewis, the silver medalist, and Jorge Luis Gonzalez. And Lewis did well in the first round. Close round, but I think Lennox was landing, landing the greater number of blows and the more superior blows as well. pressure on Lewis. Lewis. Lots of pressure, but he looks like he's ready for it tonight. Cuban shaking his head, saying Lennox isn't hurting him. Lennox Lewis from Kitchener, Ontario, in the Canadian red and white against Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Nice jab. Cuba. Nice stiff jab by Lennox.
think the most impressive thing about Lennox Lewis is the hand speed he has for such a big man. Midway in the second round, the super heavyweights, 201 pounds plus. Lewis in the red. Gonzalez of Cuba in blue. Lennox fighting with a lot of confidence right now, but the fight is still close. He's got to keep his composure. And he may have to get a little more aggressive. Lewis, though, look very sharp, Dale. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Gonzalez is coming on now. He knows he lost that first round, and he's going to have to come on strong. Oh, Lewis was not knocked down. I think we're seeing it all here tonight. He was kneed out of the ring after he had lost his balance. They're taking, They're a, taking point a point out. Yeah. Is a definite infraction of the rules in amateur boxing. The referee is Carmen Williamson of the United States. I think that was a pretty stupid move. Actually, the knee did not hurt Lennox Lewis. It was just, he just bumped him with the knee with Lewis off balance, but what it cost him was a point for being stupid, actually. And I think he had the round up until that point. I think he was winning the round. He was coming on strong, starting to get to Lennox. Oh, solid shot, Lennox Lewis with the right hand. Lewis missed with another right. In tight now. Still in the second round. At stake, a trip to the World Championships in Yugoslavia. Lennox Lewis of Canada, a silver medalist, looking for revenge from the Pan American Games gold medalist, Jorge Gonzalez. The kneeing incident really did not hurt Lennox Lewis. He was just off balance, and he was more or less shoved up. Definitely didn't hurt him, and it was, uh, I think, more, more to his benefit, as I was saying, because uh, I felt he was losing the round to that point. Let's watch it again. Stay up. You see here, I think the Cuban pushes. Le Lennox, Lennox is out of position. He's holding the Cuban. Now he gets pushed down and kneed out of the ring. He goes to the loose. Okay, hands up and stay on. Don't hold. Okay? Enthusiasm in the corner of Lennox Lewis. You can see that the, the okay, Cuban would be frustrated with, with Lennox, but I think that was a real stupid move, losing a point. Come on, man. Don't back up. You go in, okay? You should not try with him this round, okay? Hands up. And that is after only your championship. Lopez, I think Gonzalez seems to pressure the two right now, and he's going to need this round. This is the rematch. Lewis looking for revenge for a loss a week ago in Indianapolis to Gonzalez. And Gonzalez comes out the aggressor quickly. Lewis backing in against the ropes, landed a couple. Nice combination, but he's got to stay off those ropes. caught with a left hook there. Early in the third round, super heavyweight. Lennox Lewis, Canada, the Red Trunks. Gonzalez of Cuba in blue. You can see Gonzalez is fighting with a little bit of desperation right now. He knows he has to win this round, and he's really chasing Lennox. These guys are throwing bombs. Oh, good shot by Lennox. 
Derek Floyd. Out the corner to slip, the corner to slip. However, Gonzalez was stunned by the left hand that preceded the slip. Lewis kind of pushed him down after he went by. Lewis sensing a chance to move on. Pounding Gonzalez into the rope. Penix has the, has the momentum right now. He should stay on Gonzalez. He's got him in the corner. That's what I don't think he can give up now. He's got to keep going. Keep going for it. If Lewis wants to win. Nice move off the ropes. The Cubans don't like the ropes. They like to get off very, very quickly. Both, both these guys are tired. Lennox smiling at Gonzalez. Late in round three. Lennox Lewis with a chance to move on to the world championships. Less than a minute to go. There goes, there goes Lennox's mouthpiece. That's always, always a signal that a fighter is a little bit tired. Gets a little bit of a breather now. And in amateur boxing, they'll hold the time. So no time is taken off the three-minute clock. I think Lennox knows he's got this fight wrapped up right now. He just can't get careless and get tagged with a big shot. It just amazes me that guys in this weight division can carry their hands so low when one punch can be the big difference. Yeah, one punch in this division and it's hits over for certain. Could be. Two tired super heavyweights. Revenge for Lennox Lewis if he can pull it off. He lost the gold medal in Indianapolis to this man, Gonzalez. And that's it. Looks to me like he's revenged that loss, John. If the fans have anything to say, Lewis has won it. Dale Walters thinks he has too, and I'm inclined to agree. We'll be back for the decision. This is the OV North American Amateur Boxing Championships on TSN. Presenting the medallions, ladies and gentlemen, is the president of the Canadian Amateur Boxing Association, George Armstrong. And the winner on a points decision, two to one, Lennox Lewis of Canada. Lennox Lewis has his revenge. He was outstanding tonight to win the super heavyweight title here at the North American Championship. A tough, a tough win for him. I heard some rumors kicking around there that they were going to give it to the Cuban, but uh, it was a hard-fought win, I think, definitely deserving of Lennox Lewis. All right, it has been overall a pretty good night for the Canadians. Dan Sherry.